In this episode, I'm going to cover wiring up the Google Sign-In plugin for Android. So I'll start off by renaming the Android package, then I'll create a Firebase app. After that, I'll install the Google Services.json into my app, then I'll import the Google Sign-In plugin. After that, I'll wire up and test the sign-in process. So to get started, I'm going to go to the app I just created moments ago, and what I want to do first is rename the Android package. And the way I do that is I look into the Android app, the Android pieces here, and I look for the Android manifest. In here, I can find the package name that I created or was generated when I created the project. And I'm going to copy this, and what I want to do is right-click on the module over on the left, go down to Replace in Path, and then I'm going to paste in the package name. Then I'm going to add the package name I want to replace with it, com.gogat.firebase.sandbox. So this will be my unique domain name that I own. And what I want to do is click on the Replace in Find window down at the lower right. And I'm going to select all files. And there's one more step. I'm going to open up Java, and I've got to refactor the package directory names. And I'm going to do that by going and selecting. And I'm going to right-click on that, go to Refactor, Rename. And then I'm going to replace the generated package name with my package name. And I'm going to select Search in Comments and Strings and Search for Text Occurrences. Most likely it was unique. So I'm going to hit Refactor. Okay, I'm ready to go, but I like to delete this your company because it's no longer needed. It's just an empty directory at this point. So I'm going to delete that. So the next step is to create a Firebase app. So I'm going to go to the Firebase console and I'll put the link of this site below. And I've already created an application. I'm not going to walk you through that. That's an easy process, but I'll show you what I do once I create an application. So I'm going to click on my dev sandbox. You can see that I've already created a package name, but it belongs to another app. So I'm going to add a new app. I'm going to select Android, and I'm going to paste in the name of my package name, and then I'm going to name my app Firebase Sandbox. Okay, so how do I get the SHA-1? That's the next step. So I'm going to hit on the question and see this page, and I'm going to scroll down. It's real simple. I'm going to copy this key tool command, and I'm going to go back to my IDE down to the terminal on the lower left. And if it doesn't show up, I'm going to click on one of the other views and back to the terminal. For some reason, it doesn't show up some of the time. OK, so I'm ready to paste in the command for the key tool. I'm going to hit Enter. And the password is Enter. It's blank. This will generate my dev mode key, my debug key. So I'm going to select the SHA-1 key here. This is my unique identity that belongs to me. And I'm going to go back to the browser. And I'm going to go to the Dev Sandbox where I was creating it. I'm going to paste in my unique key. So I'm going to register my app. The next step is I'm going to download the Google Services.json. Once that's downloaded, I'm going to open up and show in Finder so I can navigate to it. OK, so I have it ready here. So I'm going to expand. OK, so I have Google Services.json. So I need to put that in my application. And where do I put it? So I go to Android, and I'm going to just minimize what I had expanded here. And it belongs in the app directory. And you'll find the directions for this on the site as well. So I'm going to drag it and put it in the app directory and select OK. So there we go. I have it added to my Android app directory. So now I could import the Google plugin. That's next. So I'm going to go to the site. I'm going to minimize that. And I'm going to go to the Google sign in on the pub dartlang.org and I'll put the link below in the video description. And what I want to do is go to the installing tab. And what I want to select is Google sign in. And I'm going to go back to my app, back to my app. Okay, so that belongs in the pubsec.yaml. I'm going to add it under dependencies. So I'm going to fetch the packages by running the command packages git. And then I'm going to go back to the browser. And so I'm going to copy the import. So I'm going to go to the main.dart and I'm going to add the import for the Google sign in. So if there's no red underline, it has imported correctly. So the next step is I want to go to the example application and copy some code. And the where I find that is the home page. I'm going to select on the home page, select on the example because this is the example application. And what I want to go to is the lib. 
and main.dart. And in here, I'm going to copy the Google sign in initialization, copy that. And I'm going to go back to my app and I'm going to paste it in. There's the Google sign in, no red underline, so we're good to go. The next step is there's a handle sign in command in here. You, there's a lot of other wiring you can do, but I'm not going to show that today. But I want to show how to sign in. So let's go down, scroll down a bit on um, line 93 at this time. There's the sign in. So I'm going to copy that and I'll go back to my app and I'm going to. So I'm going to paste it in as a function. I'm going to alt enter on it and autocomplete dart async. And that imports the async library at the top here. Okay, so I have handle sign in. Well, I want to activate that. So I'll just replace the increment counter with my sign in. So down here, there's a set state. I'm just going to replace that. This is called when the floating action button is clicked. And then I want to sign in. Okay, so I'm going to command click on that. And there's one more thing I want to do. So I want to add print signed in. And then I'll say, uh, let's say Google sign in current user display name. So if it's a good sign in, it'll print the display name. Otherwise, there will be an error. So I'm ready to test it. So I'm going to go to the Android and boot it up. Fantastic, the app loaded up. Now I want to sign in. Okay, I'm going to click on the floating action button to sign in. Okay, the process is initializing. I haven't signed in before on the phone, so I need to do that. So I'm going to go gb.gocket1 at gmail.com. This is my developer account. Click next. And I'm going to sign in, but I'm not going to show you my password. Okay, I'm going to click next. Okay, I got two step bonds, so I could enter that. I entered my two step. I agree. And I'm gonna select next because it has some initialization. Okay, it's signed in, fantastic, that was simple. And I can see that I signed in because it shows my developer name in my console. So if you can see, I said print the display name and the display name is Aaron Donaldson. All right, fantastic. Well, that was pretty easy to wire up the Google Sign-In plugin. So this concludes this video today. Thanks for watching. Follow me for more tips and tricks, and I'll catch you later.